Good morning, Rob here from um, CDV. How are you? Hope you're well. Thank you for watching. Now, um, my last video was about the Toyota Hilux coming to Australia, which is great. The EV version, of course. Unfortunately, it is the shortest range EV available in Australia, which is a bummer, and it's coming next year. But Australia now has our first all-wheel drive EV ute, and that was not from Tesla, it's not from Toyota, it's not even from Isuzu. In fact, there's none of them. It's from KGM. Yeah, weren't to my bingo card, that's for sure. From the artist formerly known as Sanyong. Like Prince, a bit more talk and less purple rain. And the good news will be available from December this year. And apparently, according to the press release, it is available in showrooms right now, in selected showrooms. To be fair, I didn't even know KGM had showrooms in Australia. But they do. If you can find one, let me know where it is. Because, you know, I've never seen one yet. And I don't think many people have either. So this is a 2026 KGM Musso EV. Remember the Sanyong Musso? Yeah, it's um, not a Hilux killer, but it will be an EV Hilux killer. That's for sure. Because it'll be the first electric unit available in Australia to power all four wheels. So you can say the Hilux does as well, but it's, um, it's still in a mine site. It won't be coming to next year. So Toyota, it lost. So close, snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. This actual EV though, starts at 60 grand, not bad. That's drive away apparently, and it's tax deductible, of course, being a ute, especially if it's a business expense. Remember the Hilux coming in claiming we would be under, under 100 grand, so. Not only have they lost, the competition's annihilated them already before they even get off the starting line. Okay, of course, so um, let's talk power. Front wheel drive version, yes, it has a two wheel drive version and an all wheel drive version, so four wheel drive version. Front wheel version comes in with 152 kilowatts of power, 339 newton meters of the torque. Not too bad. The all wheel drive version, though, double trouble, two motors. Uh, that's probably a bad analogy, double trouble EVs. You don't really get trouble with EVs, but your motors, that's for sure. Anyway, poor writing skills aside, 175 kilowatts combined and a thick 630 newton meters of torque. More than a Ford Ranger Raptor, even more than your Hilux turbo diesel. No matter how much crap you bolt on it from your BCF shopping catalog, or you can make those turbos go, Ooh, choo -choo -choo -choo, whatever, even though you're still driving a Hilux, doing zero to 100 in about three days. It wasn't that long ago, this dam was full, believe it or not. Water was up to about there. Now, haven't had any rain for 50 days. Man, it's um, back to being a mud pit again full of grass. Oh well. Anyway, where were we? Utes and a farm, and that sort of thing. So the range of this thing it comes in at 420 kilometers for the front wheel drive version, 380 for the all wheel drive. That's WLTP tested, or WLTP as I call it. So real world, maybe take about 10 to 50% off those is what you're looking at. So um, subtract your servo pies and a few hills. Still makes it longer range than the LDV ET60, which comes in at 330, but will cost you north of 90K. Musa EV, like I mentioned earlier, starts at 60. That's 32 grand less. So you can buy a second-hand petrol Ford Falcon with a savings, and you'd still have um, 32 grand left over. Yep, totally dry. That's a bummer. Gonna need some rain soon. Being an EV, though, obviously, it's got a battery. 80.6 kilowatt hours of lithium-ion phosphate pack made by BYD. Fast charging, 10 to 80 percent in 36 minutes. Now, um, KGM claims it's capable of doing 300 kilowatt charging, but um, let's be real. Overseas spec say it's close to about 150 kilowatts. And if you're doing 10 to 80 in 30 minutes, 30 minutes, a 60% capacity on a 100 kilowatt charger, that's, you know, you're looking at 45 minutes. It's, um, to be fair, not good, not impressive, that's for sure. So, but it's um, gonna give you more than enough time to regret that Tinder date and um, scroll through your ex's Instagram while wondering why you got that rash down there. A longer trip, so the decent charge range is what makes the difference. If you're going to have longer trips, you know, do this thing. Slow charging after reasonably, you say, you know, realistically, probably 300 k's of range, I guess. Then, um, yeah, it's not going to be a, not going to be a fun trip. But most youths don't do those trips, do they? They go to the shops, they go to the work site, they go to the school pickup, they go to the sports on the weekend, and your occasional camper trip within a few hours of Sydney. So, quite possible you can do that. Speaking of those camper trips, yeah, it's got vehicle to load. Fantastic. So you can power your campsite, your blender, or your mate's dodgy DJ setup. At least you got me keeping the rest of the campers up with those generators running or not like they do. So that's a nice thing. Okay. Size-wise, this thing, it is a ute, remember? 5.1 metres long, yeah. About the size of a, a, a ute, I guess. 1.9 metres wide, 1.7 metres tall. Rides on a 3.1 metre wheelbase, so it's longer between the wheels and the highlights, but shorter overall. Ground clearance, 181.4 millimetres, so 50 millimetres less than a Hilux. 
So that's probably okay for small rock climbing, small rock hopping in, in those lovely dirt roads. But don't go boulder bashing with it or driving up Uluru. And I can hear the comments now. What about your towing? Yeah, I've got a small block of apartments back there I want to take, we'll take away with me next time I go camping. Yep, towing, 1,800 kilos braked. It's not going to tow that massive block of units you got parked out the front you rarely use. It will tow, though, a trailer full of tools. That's for sure. It will tow a trailer full of stuff for bunnies when you're going to build that back shed or build the house. It does only have 750 kilos unbraked, though, so there's that. Payload, 905 kilos in the tray. 805 kilos in the back for the all-wheel drive. So yeah, it'll still tow your trailer full of gear. It'll tow all your tools. It'll cart those tools for those job sites. Maybe not tow your mate's investment property that he calls a caravan. As for the tray itself though, well, it comes in at 1.3 meters long, decent size. 1.5 meters wide, 510 millimeters deep. It's obviously not this particular tray, but um, huge tray, <laughs> yeah. Eight tie-down hooks, not bad. Optional tub liner, lighting and rear bumper corner steps. Sounds like a freak of party supplies, doesn't it? Self-leveling rear suspensions means less sag when loaded. I like your mate Bob after um, three beers. Any problem walking around here though, filming, because I've got to keep my eye for snakes. It's pretty warm today, and um, snake season's well and truly really honest. And um, we'd have a lot of highland copperheads around here, which um, can be deadly, so I better keep my eye out, hey? Oh yeah, you. Inside though, it's um, quite stacked. 12.3 inch entertainment screen with Apple Android CarPlay Auto and a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster for, you know, symmetry, obviously. 360 degree 3D view camera, heat seaters, butt ventilators, even in the rear. Yes, just the heated seats part, not the ventilated part. So if your kid's gonna be farting in the back there, you're gonna smell it. And they also move electrically adjusted seats front and back, also do the back ones. Dual zone climate control, nice. It's pretty standard these days. Steering hand warmers, in other words, steering wheel heater, nice. Um, wireless phone charging, I should say sorry, wireless charge phoning, that's the way it is. Rain sensing wipers, which hopefully they work. And the, and the usual things you expect like folding mirrors, adjustable seats for comfort in all parts, blah, 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 blah. Then there's also <laughs> the flies. Then there's also the Black Edge Edition Glam Pack. It um, comes with leather and suede upholstery, black 17 inch alloy wheels, black bonnet garnish to catch those bugs, make them harder to clean out. Comes in mirror caps. I have no idea what they are. I wouldn't be go putting my hat on the mirror, that's for sure. And um, some trimmings around the place. So not just a Home Depot gold like the um, White House, but black sail plane. No, it's not a glider. It's this part up here, apparently. And uh, um, yeah, some wood grain here and there. I'm getting back in my hole in the ground here. Where it's um, less windy. Probably more flies. At least I get my protein, I guess. I've eaten a few of them already today. Safety, of course. Safety is a modern car. Has to be safe. Autonomous emergency braking, forward collision warning, lane keeping assist, safe distance annoyance warnings, front and rear parking sensors. Basically, it's gonna try and stop you hitting things before um, you can wonder what that annoying beep is for. Final thoughts on this thing. Well, look, that's um, not a Ranger Raptor, that's for sure, but it's also not 100K. And it won't wake up your neighbors with that cold start rattling, sound like a chainsaw cutting through a box full of bolts every morning either. The EV Musso, is it weird? It's affordable, yes. It's surprisingly capable, yes. It's not the ute we expected, but it might be the ute we need, especially if you're a trader looking for actual make some dollars instead of tax breaks. So if you're still unsure though, it comes with a seven year unlimited kilometer warranty. That's impressive. Not to mention a 10 year battery warranty as well. So peace of mind right there. If you're a trader or like your most ute drivers, I guess, that rarely use the um, off-road capabilities in a long trip across the country, definitely worth looking at. The Musa EV has definitely won the EV ute race in Australia. Sorry Toyota, sorry Isuzu, but you know, Come on, fair 200 k's of range, really? And a price tag is 100 grand? Nah, you've lost. This is it, the Musso EV. The Sanyong, oh sorry, KGM Musso EV. Check them out. Thank you. Oh yeah, if you got this far, thanks for watching, much appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I'll get these flies out of my eyes. And um, I'll see you all in the next video, coming soon. See ya.